me detained for no motherfucking reason. I'm gonna fucking detained. I don't know what the fuck I got my damn son. Oh, he gonna be a minute. How the fuck long it take him to get down and investigate and shit? But let him, they let him go somewhere else. I don't fucking know who the fuck got my damn son. Friends, today's doo doo dum dums are Dion Nettles and Shailen Yeldon. In 2018, Shailen, with her friends Sean Taria and Kima, met with Jaquan Berry. He ends up dead. Now, I did cover Sean Taria's interrogation previously. You can go and watch that, or you can continue watching this. The order doesn't matter. Now, let me start with Dion's interview and then I'll react accordingly. This is a homicide. Mm. It doesn't get any bigger. Crimes don't get any worse. Mm. You know, not a robbery, not a theft, not a rape, not a, I mean, this is murder, mm. okay? So it's important you be 100% honest and truthful, all right? Because we don't want you leaving here today mm. because it don't stop with just you today. We still are talking to other people and these other people come in and say, man, Dion did this, Dion did that. Yeah. So 100 straight, yeah. whether it's about you help get rid of a gun. You help clean a car. Yeah. Now's the only time you get to be honest. If yeah. you come back another day and say, "Oh man, I forgot," yeah. you fuck, bro. Yeah. You feel me? Mm-hmm. All right, I'm, that's all. Being a hundred, yeah. and I'll be with you. You want him to talk out there at the scene, mm-hmm. and I appreciate that. I've done this a long time. The way I do business, I don't like to put people's business out there in the street, right out there in front of everybody. Because even though it's middle of the daytime, you still see even the old grannies and some mamas and stuff, everybody peeking out the window to see what's going on. We're giving you opportunity. You know, so I don't like to put it out there like that. That's why I said let's get you away from there and back to it. I'm saying I'm trying to see like what is my involvement in this doing? Like why am I here? Well we don't know. That's why we're talking well, with you. I'll tell you as far as this. Because I was in hand because all I was told was y'all were supposed to be coming to talk to uh, but talk to here's the thing guys. is that we were looking for that car mm-hmm. and I don't know you. Yeah. You don't you don't know us, right? Yeah. And so we're we know we're looking for that vehicle uh-huh. and anything associated with that vehicle. Yes, you had to be in that car, yes, so you were detained. Yes, You're not handcuffed now, right? Yes, sir. So you you understand where we're at? Yes, That's sir. why you were handcuffed. That's why you were detained yes, because sir. you were in the particular vehicle that we were looking for at that particular time. Okay. In reference to this, and that's why we want to hear the honest story from you yes, because yes. if we don't, and then other people come around and start giving their own two cents worth in. It's like old saying, I said it earlier today, whoever gets on the bus first mm-hmm. gets a seat, right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Can't wait till the bus is full and want the seat. Yeah. It don't work. Yeah. All right? Yeah. So just like we talked out there on the street when I read your rights earlier, which I did, correct? Yes, sir. All right, and we were going to talk. Let's talk about the things uh, that happened with this murder. Can you do that for me? I don't know. No, I wasn't up. What you heard. I can give y'all what I heard. That's what we want. That's what we heard. Exactly. Can you do that for us? All I heard was... Well, hang hang tight. Is that what you can do for us now? Uh, All you got to do is just... just, All this is is saying that I read read your rights. I read that to you. That's why I initialed each one of them and I signed it. I just need you to sign it. Well, you can reread it if you want. Or if if you don't want to sign it, but you agree to it. Say, I just don't feel like signing. I really don't want to sign it. But, but will okay. you talk to us? Yeah, I'll talk to you guys. Okay. 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 Fair enough. Fair enough. All right, Dion. Uh, we're we're inv- listening. We're investigating our homicide, so we're we're listening to you, brother. Okay. Well, what I heard was there were three females involved. Okay. Sweezy, Kima, and Shani. They were supposed to be going to get some weed from the guy. Then them getting the weed, I don't know, they went to tussling or whatever. Then I heard, I don't know who shot, but they said somebody shot and killed him. And they shot like four or five times and he, he was hanging on to the door mm-hmm. or whatever and he fell off and like, they kind of ran him over or whatever. Okay. So you tell me them females' names again. Sleazy. Sleazy. Now, yeah, would, that be, it, would, it, would that be fair to say that is that... Uh, that that's Shay. Shay. Shay Leasy? No, just say Shay. Shay okay. Pell. You can put Shay Leasy. It's Shay Sleazy, but Shay, they know her as Shay. But that's what she goes by, like on yeah, Facebook and stuff Lizzie. like that. Yeah, on Facebook it's Sleazy. But she look like else, a, what's she look like? Uh, she dark skin with a little haircut. She look like a boy? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Don't tell me you did not laugh at that, okay? Stop lying. Now, let me give you context on the names, right? Sleazy is Shaylin Yeldon, right? Her interrogation is coming after this one. Sleazy 
and Dion are friends. Shoni was the old interrogation I posted, Sean Turia, that is Dion's girlfriend. Yeah, I do have Kima's interrogation also, who's a friend of all of them, but she just sits there and doesn't say anything. But those are the names for context. Anyway, let's keep going. So you call her like Shay or Sleazy. And who was the other one you said? Shani. S H U N E Y. All right. And Kima. K E M A. A E M A. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, Shani or whatever, that's your girlfriend, right? Yeah. Shantaria? Yeah. Jones? Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> So she was with Shay, your girlfriend. Yeah, they were all together. All right, they's all together. Who is who is Kima? Who do you? Kima. Know? Yeah. Oh no. Like K I M A or K E M A K E M A K I M A. Either one. How do you know her? Uh, through her. It's one of her friends. Through your girl. Yeah. Okay. It's one of her friends. Where she stay? Uh, she stay in Dogwood. She stays in Dogwood too. What's she look like? Uh, she kind of uh, heavy, heavy set. Like sure. two, like two bills, one hundred and eighty. What? Big. Big. Big three man. bills, <laughs> three uh, bills. bigger than all outside. Yeah, <laughs> and so they all are supposed to ride out and go buy some weed from oh boy. Yeah, how do they come across this kid, or how do they know him? Or be honest, I don't know. You know how people be on Facebook, there, right? Who got gas? Who mm -hmm. Gas with emoji eyes. Mm -hmm. So uh, it had to be something like that because I don't. Even, I ain't even know him. He's seventeen. I'm way older than him, so I don't know him. How old are you? Twenty eight. Oh, okay, yeah. Yes, yeah, so I don't even know him. He nineteen. Yeah. So you uh. I mean, was, was they looking for loud or what? So, so yes, or loud. So did they? Did they have they dealt with him before? Not that I know of. Not that I know of. Okay. So, but you don't know how they came across? No, sir. I'd be probably like going through like her Facebook and everything like that to see Who, or, his, Shay? or his Facebook. Yeah. Okay. What was you doing on uh, Thursday night late? Like, or I'm sorry, not Thursday night. Wednesday, Wednesday night. With my son. Okay, yeah, where at the I house? Had my son, at Dogwood? Yes, I had my son for the last two weeks. I got you. Yeah. You stay with her over there? We've been, uh, we, well, we've been staying there. I've been there like two weeks. Off and on? Yeah, yes, sir. I got you. So you were there Wednesday. She left the baby with you? Yeah, I kept him. Okay. Yeah. And then all and all three of them left? Yeah. Okay. And they then? Just told, they just told me that we wanted to get some weed from somebody. All right. And what About happened? what time was that? I don't want to say a long time, because I really don't. That's okay. I mean, Actually, was it, it was dark? Like, yeah, it was dark, though. It, uh -huh. was, it was dark for sure. I just don't want to get out the time. Okay, that's cool. But it was dark, though. When it was dark. All right. All right. So was yeah. Now, you might be a little confused on what happened, so let me tell you. The three girls in question, they went to buy weed from Jaquan, the victim. Jaquan gives them the weed in the car. They give him a fake $100 bill or $60. Either way, they give him fake money, right? The moment the exchange happens, they take the weed, he realizes, wait, this money's fake, so he goes in to grab the weed. Then the scuffle happened, then the shots were fired. Sean Turia is the one that shot him four times. Now, Dion did help clean up the mess. He wasn't there, but he was considered an accessory. During this entire interrogation with him, it seems all he cared about was the safety of his son. I'm gonna keep playing it, but in your opinion, from what you see, what do you think should have happened to him? I'll tell you later, but I want you to comment. What do you think his punishment should be, if any? Just, I was just putting him to sleep, so I know it was dark. And it was just them three? Yeah. Okay. And then, so they left. It's dark. They leave to go get some weed. And then, how long were they gone? Probably about 20 minutes max. Okay. And when they come back, what happens? When they come back, like, they're like, oh, uh, we got the weed, so we walking out. So I'm saying, I'm in outside, I'm smoking a cigarette outside. So I'm like, what happened to the window? So she like, oh, you noticed the window was yeah. gone? Yeah, so I'm like, what happened to the window? She was like, oh, oh, well, ain't nothing shaking out the door. She broke the window. And I'm like, okay, but I didn't believe it. So I'm like, all right, cool. So uh, we come out from like, what's wrong? What happened to the window? Like, what happened? Well, well, you didn't hang, do anything. Hang on a second, Dion. So before they left, there wasn't nothing wrong with the car. Nah. The windows and all were fine. They come back, you you sitting outside smoking a cigarette, you notice the window's broke. Yeah. And you confront her about it, and she yeah. said that Shay slammed the door. Ain't nothing, Shay slammed the door and broke it. Okay. And you didn't believe her? Yeah. I ain't okay. No more questions about it at all. Was I she, just, did she say anything wrong. else? Were they still just them three girls? Yeah. All right. And so, what happened? After that, everybody just came and went home, and Shay, everybody went to sleep. 
How'd Kima go home? Just walk? Yeah, she stayed wet, wet up. Okay, not too far. So she goes home, and Shay and, and your girl go in and go to sleep. Mm-hmm. And y'all go to sleep. Yeah. Did you notice anything on them? Did they have any blood, anything like that on them? No, sir. The only thing I know is what we, they said they were going to get. Was they upset at all? Did they show any type of emotion? Like when I And when I say that, I don't mean crying. But did they seem like they were excited? Did they seem like they were nervous? Did they seem like anything was out of the ordinary? Not really, not sending it. Like she ain't seen like a normal or anything like that. What about Shay? Shay, she just, like, she had a look on her face, but it wasn't like, I ain't know, like she always be looking crazy, but it was like, it just a little crazy look. I like you straight color. She like, oh yeah, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I'm just thinking about something. What about Kima? Kima, she was more serious. Because you told me out there that last night she told you and her mama what happened. No. Huh? No. You did not say that. So you called me a liar. Oh, no. I just, what else do I need to know from you? The truth, brother. I mean, you know everything you said in that truck is recorded, right? Okay. Do you realize that? Yeah. So we go pull that audio and pull that video out of that truck that you were sitting in when you said that and play your voice back and, and you hear yourself say that. Okay. And then you talked about the counterfeit money. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, and because they're, you said, they're, they're you know. They were supposed to give him some counterfeit money. Say again? They were supposed to give him some counterfeit money. They were supposed to give him some? Yeah. Like a $100 bill or what? Yeah. Okay. And then Dion, that's what I understand. Trust me, I get it. I've done this 25 years, man. All right? Mm-hmm. I mean, a lot harder motherfuckers sit over there. I mean, done a lot worse things yeah. that sat in these same rooms right here. Mm-hmm. I get it, brother. I mean, you don't want to be a snitch or a rat on your lady or whatever. I get it. I get it. But, you know, this ain't swiping a bag of chips from Circle K. This ain't stealing some gas. This ain't, you, hell, this ain't even robbing a store. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, you got this whole, it's like the NFL, the MLB, the NHL, the NBA mm-hmm. is the top. Yeah. Same thing with murder. Yeah. It don't get no higher than that. You know, and right, wrong, or indifferent, mm-hmm. son, is, yeah, when people get killed or murdered, sure. They're, you know, nine times out of ten, they're out doing stuff they shouldn't be to start with. Yeah. To put them out there, yeah. living a high-risk lifestyle. Yeah. If you weren't out there selling dope, you wouldn't have been killed that night. Okay? But that still does not give any right by the man above or how we were raised or what we taught in school to take anybody's life. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, he was still a son. He was still a brother. Yeah. He was still a grandson. He was still an uncle you know, to his family and people love him. And we had the family call us every day since Wednesday. have been up here countless times crying. I'm surprised. That's why there ain't no Kleenex in here right now because um, they're, they're out. All right. So step back a minute and think about the impact that when you take somebody's life, okay, that is final. It's not a video game. You don't get to fucking, you know, get another player, reboot, have another turn. It's final. You know, you don't come back to life. It'd be nice if we could, you know. Now, do I think your old lady or this other girl, they bad people, and it, they went out, they're murderers? Fuck no. I know murderers. Like I said, I've seen real murderers sit right there. That's killed numerous people. Serial killers, you name it. And I mean, I looked at the car out there. We've towed it back, and we're going to go through it. But I can definitely tell that the car has been wiped down. I can see on the windows where the windows have been wiped. Yeah. And I know them. Did you do that? No, I didn't do that. Chicks did it? They probably did. I know I ain't do it. Did I you see them do it? I no, I ain't see them do it. I ain't know. But I know I ain't had no parts in cleaning on, cleaning the car out, anything like that. What 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 did Simon tell you happened? Because I know this is eat her up. This is eat her up. That's why she told you what happened. That's why she told her mama what happened. Get it off your chest, huh? What did what she tell you that happened, brother? Right, so that's the end of Dion's interview. I'm going to play Shaylin's for you now. But just so you know, as an accessory, Dion was sentenced 
to eight years in prison. What are your thoughts on that? He's currently in prison right now. Anyway, here's uh, Shailen's interrogation. Let's get to it. What you're here for, and what I'm talking to you about, is a murder that occurred. Mm -hmm. All right. I mean, sometimes I feel like I say the same thing, but you know, you think of the NBA as being high shingo, MLB, uh, uh, football, NFL. Mm -hmm. That's a murder. There's no other charge in the United States, no other crime. That is worse than murder. You know, don't matter. I'm not a dope cop. Don't matter about uh, burglary police, you know, traffic ticket cop, any of that stuff. Don't do any of that. All right. I can tell you, I mean, I've done this a long time. Done it longer than you've been alive. <laughs> you know, I know I look young, but uh, <laughs> no, I, no, I don't. <laughs> I don't. Um, but before we bring people in, and you know, this goes back, we're here on a Tuesday. And uh, so we're almost seven days ago from when this happened. Okay. All right. So um, the things that we talk about and the things that you say, all right, can, you know, definitely impact the things and the course that your life is going to take in the near future. All right, because we wouldn't be sitting here right now if I didn't know some things, if we hadn't done our homework. All right, so and you got to think I've had some of these people down here for the last several hours. You know, we have Cinnamon's car and impound that we impounded uh, earlier today. Uh, we have our cell phones, the phone that you had, we got. Uh, Dion's phone. So we've done our homework. All right. So that's what I want you to understand. And, and talking to Cinnamon, and you know, she uh, she was the same way, very scared. You know that because she she I guess she's her best friend. She said that this old boy tried to rob you. Did he? of what? Your money? How much money did he try to rob you? For the for the bag, did you ever get the weed or never got it? Never got it. Never got it. All right. And I know this is hard, but I'm telling you, you know this wasn't going away. You probably been thinking about it ever since it happened. You know, Chris ain't a bad person. She's not a bad person. Y'all not criminal. Y'all not. Y'all really not. You know, when he tried to rob you, what he said. Did he get he got in the car with you? I'm gonna say who who was driving, baby? Were you driving or was Cinema? Cinema was driving. And who was in the front passenger? You? And she was in the back. And then he gets in the obviously he gets in the passenger side behind you. So he gets in the car and says, give it up. All right. And then what? Yeah, it's like everything just went blank. Like when we went for that day to have my money, like, you know, I was asking for the weed. Like, you know, where is that? It's all right. Okay. It's all right. And then we gave it to him. And it's like, he's in the car. Had you already given your money? I had already gave it to him. Mm -hmm. And it's like, it just, he didn't want to give it to me. It was like, he kind of got like in a scuffle. A little bit. This was all in the car? Yeah, kind of. And Were you out or still sitting in the car? Like, I was still in the car. Oh boy, was behind you? Behind me. But did he keep the door open? He did. Okay. So, as we got the scuffle in a little bit, of course, he was like my big sister. She wasn't going to let anything happen to us or anything of that nature. So, as he kept scuffling and fighting with me, I got, I hit him in the face, and then the next thing you know. Did you hit him with a pistol? Hit him with my fist. All right. Okay. So, 
all this happening, baby, I'm, I'm going to go in mm -hmm. a minute. I mean, he's got the door kind of open and he's what, halfway in, halfway kind of out. Mm -hmm. And is your door open or you kind of, you, you turned around like, in the seat? I'm turning around in the seat because I don't want to, I don't want to get out. I don't, I'm, 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 my safest place right now is the car. Right. So I didn't get out. So I just turned around and I just, I, I just hit him and he got to hit me back. He still didn't get what he came for. And... <laughs> So he was going to basically, you saying he's going to take your money and try to haul ass and yeah. not, okay, yeah. all right. And who um, who had a pistol? Okay. Huh? Okay. I mean, it, it honestly, you know, at this stage of the game, I mean, it, it doesn't matter, you know, yeah. if if you had it, if Kima had it, or if Cinnamon had it. But what is important to know is that. One, the gun is to be taken off the street so nobody else gets a hold of it. It needs to be destroyed. Okay. So, you know, no kid gets it, no kid gets shot, nobody else does a shooting with it or anything like that. Okay? Where is that gun? The gun is, I honestly don't know. I wasn't with nobody when they disposed of it. And, and, and all right. Let's back up just a minute because that's the, if we're going to be all in and we're going to be honest, you know, for the camera up here, if we're going to be honest, we got to dot our I's and cross our T's. And I know you don't want to relive it in your head. And I, you probably don't want to even see photos of him that I have, you know. And I understand why you got rid of your social media because you don't want to hear the bullshit that comes along with it because it gets nasty. Trust me. I've looked at it ever since last visit, you know? So, let's back up and let's tell it all 100% from the get-go so we can get it done and we can get it over with. And that way you don't have to sit there and be, because, unfortunately, it's a part of you now. But we have to heal and we have to move on. But keeping it inside is no way to, to live, you know, like that. Yes, sir. So, now, I want you to, I'm going to start off, and I want you to correct me if I'm wrong in anything. All right? He had hit y'all up, or you up on uh, Messenger, just, you know, put the sign by, I got gas. Yes. And then it goes from there to what we got. Okay. Do you know this guy at all? Well, and, 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 and you're right, but you know, just like I told Cinnamon, it wouldn't matter if your uncle said, Hey, I got a buddy of mine I've been friends with for 10 years. His name's Steve. Y'all go deal with him. He could try the same shit. You know, you don't know that, you know, and, and you're right. Y'all were three girls. He thought he was going to get old that night. Sure. I, I ain't no doubt. I ain't know that. Okay, there we go. All right, so this is Trenton. Mm -hmm. All right, you with me on that? Yes, sir. All right, and this is Edison. Mm -hmm. All right, and like I said, he was he was at a house about right here. Mm -hmm. And, of course, as soon as you make this turn on Trenton Drive, he's right there, you know, on the side of the road. You know, it looked like, you know, he was shoved out of the car or fell out of the car. Okay, so... um do you remember? So do y'all think y'all come this way? No, we never, we never went that way. I think I want to say we came from here because we were no this way. Okay. And did y'all meet him somewhere in the road right in here? We met him um, at a at a house. It wasn't even. Was it on Trenton? Yeah, it wasn't even. I don't even know if it was his house or not. Okay. So it's pretty close to where he, he was found? Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. So, and the plan was to spend $60 to buy some weed. All right. All right. So, because I read in there, hey, you pull up this time after that, you know, I'll fuck with you, you know, I'll come to you or whatever. Yeah. So, I understand. All right. So he gets in the car, get, uh, he gets your money. And he don't want to give the product up. Yeah. He's like, he said, give it up, or he tried to rob all y'all. He was like, give it up. And I don't know 
what? I don't know if he said anything again. But I was just like, you know, give up what? Like, you know, oh, I came out the house and it was $60 for my skin. Like, what makes you think I'm going to have anything more than that on me? And like I said, like, <sighs> like he act like he ain't, I'm like, you need to give my, you know, $60 back to the good bro. Like, because you're not going to give it to me. Like, ain't no need for us to sit out here and do this. He just kept. He just didn't want to give me a lead, like, and I just was like, damn. And they say, you know, like. He didn't try to, like, grab it and take off and run? Like, he he grabbed my money, and then, like, like, it's like he was trying to, like, open the door. But before I knew it, like, I just, I I hit him just. For the good? Yeah. You busted him one I, time? I hit him. I hit him. I did. I'm right in the mouth? Him. Just. It was, and I and it's like I can still see the hits, like because it was it was just right there. Like I just was hitting him, and like he tried to call himself like hitting back or grabbing towards me, and you know what I'm saying? Like, Cinnamon. Cinnamon. She shot. Yeah. Yeah. Where'd she get the gun from? I'm not sure. Kevin. Okay. Or uh, Dion, excuse me. Yeah. What kind of gun was it? I'm honestly serving out right hand on the bottom. If it was right here, I don't know guns. I don't. Okay. Uh, well, are you familiar with when I say a cowboy gun? You know, a cowboy gun is like the. Knives? Well, it's, it's got the wheel in it that oh. you got the. It, it turns. You know, it's what they call re a revolver. And then you got the kind that you see most on TV, TV, like in the kind the police carry and everybody, they rack the slide back. Mm -hmm. Those are called semi automatic. Was it? Uh, a gun that takes a clip and a slide, or is it one that only holds like five or six rounds and has a wheel in it? Let's see, just to make sure we're talking right here. And of course, this is all different kinds of guns, but just to give you an idea, they come in all different size. You know, that's a revolver. It's got the kind, the, the cylinder in it that spins around, and then that kind's a semi-automatic. You know, here's another one, like another little pistol, and then a revolver type. It was one of them little baby, like a little silver one. Like a little, little, little snub nose. Yeah. What color was it? I think it was like a black handle. Was uh, metal on it black also, or was it chrome or blue? Yeah, it was the metal on it was black. The and metal on it. Okay. And uh, how many shots did Samuel fire? It really happened fast. I, I, want, I heard about three shots. Okay. Did, um, so, if, if I'm mm -hmm. cinnamon driving, and, and you sitting right here, but your face around or whatever. When shit starts going down, is she still in the car like this? So when she draw, where'd she take the pistol from? Her purse or her? She have it in a waistband? I have no idea because I was, I want to, I'm in the midst of it coming out. I want to say I was still <laughs> kind of, tussling. Right. I was still tussling because I'm. I was thinking like maybe somebody was gonna try to go get out the car. Throwing out the car, or, you know, pushing bad or something. Because he, I'm telling you, this man just kept coming. Like he was a fighter. I can't say that. Like he fought. Did, with me. did he ever punch you in the face or anything? No. Did he ever punch any of the other ones? No, I don't know if he hit people in the back with everything. I don't know if I. Did he pull a knife on y'all or anything? Yeah. He did pull a knife. He did have a knife. Okay. Do you know what it looked like? No, sir. Okay. Did he have a gun? Did you see a gun? Okay. All right. Um, so I take it as y'all tussle, she reaches back from something like this and she just boom, boom, boom. And the door was still kind of partially like open. And he's kind of halfway in and halfway out. So once the shot is fired, she smashes it. Okay. And then um, how does he end up? out of the car. Does Kima push him out or shove him out as the I car goes? I, I want to say like as he was, I don't know. I don't know what happened back there on that end, but he probably, he, he could have been pushed. I'm not sure. I can't, I really can't tell you. So he could have been pushed or I feel maybe the dead weight 
and then making a turn or something yeah, that kind of yeah like okay. them out all right so once that has happened all right i'm sorry excuse me i won't get you tootsies all right. so once that happens okay like we said he is found you know about right in here okay mm-hmm. on the side of the road all right. So obviously y'all are heading out this way. Y'all smash and go this way, right? Mm-hmm. All right. And which way do you go from there? How'd you do that? Do you, you hold this and hit that? or And then what, push up? Yeah. Oh, dang. Dang, you could. All right. So this is still Trenton. We were back down here. So y'all smash out and y'all go this way. Yeah, too. I, I really want to. I don't I hate me, sir. I never, I know. never like me. Did y'all come back out on Fairfield? It was like the or did y'all come back out on Mobile Highway? Or did y'all come out on uh, Massachusetts? I want to say maybe. The name of the road? Um, Ruby or Aquamarine? I want to say it was Ruby. By the gas station? I think so. Wilson had just got free. Okay. Okay. And uh, as did y'all go straight there? Or did y'all drive around to kind of uh, chill for a minute to figure out what the hell's going on? If I'm thinking about this, um, uh, cinnamon. What, what was uh, what was she wearing that night? I can't remember. Shorts. Tank top, I think. Tank top, shorts, pants, pants long pants or, or capris or something like, 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 like those okay. jeans. Yeah. Okay. All right. And what about Kima? He was just bumming my head, so he wasn't really. <laughs> gotcha. He wasn't planning on going to hit the club. What were you wearing that night? I just had on a tank top and some ball and shorts. And some white shirt, oh shirt. Sure. Ball and shorts. Oh, like like uh, workout shorts, yeah. you know, something like that. What color shorts? They were um, red. They were red. God dang, man, this thing's loud. You know? Um, like, so red gym shorts and a what color tank top? Like, I want to say, like, a pinkish tan. A pinkish tan, and you have on sandals? Yeah. All right. And then, uh, cinnamon. She had on some jeans. Are they jean color or are like, they? They're, like, you know, I say jeans as in like pants. Like, but but what color? Like blue, green, yellow, yeah, red. Jean, oh, jean, like jean denim. Uh, oh, denim <laughs> color pants, like yeah. something like that, and a tank top, and then probably some. She have on some sandals too. Probably. All right, and then chemo. We uh-huh. you said good one. Uh, that's all right. <laughs> uh, she said. Uh, or she was wearing, uh, you don't remember, or? Okay, that's fine. All right. Uh, how, now, let, let's back up just a minute. As the shooting is going on, and, you know, things are just, trust me, I've been around it, I know, you get focused in and kind of like this, you know? Some of you. Right. How did the window get broken in the shooting? I'm not sure. Did one round go out the window or go through the door? Okay. Did it go through the window or did it hit the door and break the, the glass inside? I'm not sure. Okay. All right. But when y'all were pulling out of there, there wasn't a window to roll up. So, was it glass? All right. So, obviously, it probably got broke somewhere out there. Yeah. Did you remember trying to roll the window up? I, I did, and I just noticed, like, it just wasn't going when I happened to look like that. Oh, but the window was up prior to yeah. all this and wasn't rolled down. No. Okay. All right. Good enough. All right. So uh, you leave out of there. You'll make the loop back. Everything's crazy. Y'all go back home. All right. So then tell me what happens when you get back to the house. Once I got back to the house, I'm still everywhere. What's that? I said, I'm still everywhere. Like, what's going on? <laughs> Well, I mean, I, I know you're geeking or whatever, yeah. but what what do the boys say? The boys? Yeah. Honestly, I I was really focused on me in that moment because 
process and everything that just fucking happened. Like, this shit was bad. And you're the vine because that's your kin folk. You know? Yeah. Now, yeah. she your blood kin? That's my blood. That's the first blood. So, it's like, like, I wasn't really studying anything. My boyfriend was just concerned as hell trying to figure out what the fuck happened. What the hell was going on? Because, see, you know, it took us a little while for stuff to come in, but see, we had gotten the call. And we didn't put two and two together at the time that somebody, don't know if it was you, but somebody with a, that when somebody got out of the car, that, you know, the window was broke out and there was either blood on the car or there was either blood on them. I can't, I'd have to look back at the tip or whatever. Was it on the car or was it on somebody? Probably, if anything, I mean, probably, it was probably on somebody. I mean, the glass. Did you get cut by the glass in it? No, you don't remember now. I'm sorry. All right. So, your boyfriend, he's going, what the fuck, and all this. And what's uh, Dion saying? Because yeah. Dion, no, Dion's been around a little bit, you know. He ain't, he ain't green to any of this, you know. Mm-hmm. So, he's a little bit older, and I mean, you know. I know who he is. What did he say? He said, hey, let's get rid of the fucking gun. Huh? I don't know, man. I took a little shower. Process. <laughs> what the fuck was going on? I'm going to tell you. I took me a hot ass shower for about a good 30 minutes. Till the water ran out? Till the water ran the fuck out. And by the time I got out of that shower, my boyfriend was like, you need to go see about your mom because at the end of the day like my mom you really did need to go I, see her i really did need to go see her because she got diabetes yes yeah really really bad and i've been with her for the last couple of days so i got you i got you so i appreciate it all right and so um have y'all three discussed it Like, just try to try not to don't, 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 don't say it. It's hard. I know, man. I know, it is. I know, it is. Because, I mean, you know, right, wrong, or indifferent, I mean, it's still a human being, you know. And, you know, somebody loved me, you know. Yep. So, right, wrong, or indifferent, you know. And, and that's part of it, as bad as this is, you know, it's. It's nothing personal. I mean, it is business. We have a job that we have to do. Yeah. But I can tell you this. I 100% appreciate sincerely your honesty. And that means a lot. And it does mean a lot. Because I knew from the get-go, as time went by, we're not dealing with people that's out here just murdering people. I knew something went down. and But, like I said, it's not a video game. We can't hit reset or replay or pause, you know. If I could if I could cut the bone, I I wouldn't I would have never went. I know. I know. If I, I would have known it was gonna go like that, I would have never went. Had, had you known your your kin uh, her to to carry a, a, a gun before? You think maybe her, her old man said, Hey, if you gonna go do this bullshit you better take something. Maybe. Maybe. I mean, I really need that gun. I really need that gun. Can you tell me where it's at? I mean, and I don't care if it's, I mean, no bullshit, you know, I don't need to be on a wild goose chase, but if it was thrown in the water, if it was thrown in the dumpster, if it was buried, if it was given to a jet for $10, I mean, I need something, but I don't need to be on no wild goose chase. You know? I want to see you on wild. I mean, if I can think, I'm going to think, I don't know where it would be, what would be. Do you think she still got it? She wouldn't be dumb enough to still have it. I can tell you that. Did she give it to Kima? Who did Kima live with? By herself? Or she got a youngest? No, no. She we're was all, by herself? Yeah, we're all, we're all single women. Well, we don't have no term. <laughs> I got you. I got you. I got you. All right. Um, so... Let's talk a, about the car then. Um, 
who cleans up the car. Mm-hmm. I got whatever glass. I know I got some glass up out of there. Like in the floorboard, or mm-hmm. like y'all go to a, to a uh, car wash and do some vacuuming, or or just there at the complex, y'all suck it out in the vacuum or try to sweep it up. Or? The big pieces, um, we did, well, I did pick up or whatever or whatnot, but as far as like the, the rest of everything that was in the car, I had to go to work the next day. So hey, you got a time schedule. Yeah, I, I, really, I really work. I know you do. I know you do. And, um, you didn't need this bullshit, did you? But hey, um, but uh, honestly, if they, I don't know if they want to get it cleaned out and know if they did it, I don't, I don't know. Do you recall seeing any blood in the back seat where he was at or anything of that nature? Mm-hmm. He had on like bulky clothing, like, like a big old jacket. So, so I didn't. Did y'all take anything off of him during the fight? That was his necklace ripped off or anything of that nature? No, sir. Okay. Did y'all find anything in the car um, after everything had happened and settled down that you thought, shit, this may belong to him that we need to get rid of? $60. (laughs) You got your 60 back? Yeah. But no weed? No weed. Okay. I got you. Got you. And uh, he leave a phone in the car, a phone fall out or anything? Right. So to conclude on this case, Shailen was sentenced to four years. Dion was sentenced to eight years. I don't know why the difference was. Uh, You can do the research. And then Sean Taria, the one that actually pulled the trigger, she was sentenced to 15 years in prison. As I said before, doo-doo dum-dums. In Northwest Florida, a teenager is dead and deputies are on the hunt for his killer. Since we first brought you the story last night, we are hearing from the family he was staying with right before the shooting. News 5's Cody Long has more from Pensacola on how the victim is being remembered. The body was found here in the street just behind me at the intersection of Trenton and Edison Drive right off of Mobile Highway. And investigators tell me that he was shot multiple times. Around 10 o'clock Wednesday night, sheriff's deputies were called to a report of shots fired. When they got here in the street, they found the body of 19-year-old Jaquan Berry, or Quan as he's known to everyone. Investigators are still trying to find out who pulled the trigger. Sheriff's officials believe this could have possibly been drug-related based on evidence collected at the scene, but they are still investigating. The family he was staying with lives just about 100 feet away from where he was shot. They say he stayed out of trouble. He had just left their house and was supposed to start a new job today. Jennifer Davis, a close friend who he called auntie, talked to me about the type of person she thinks would do something like this. A selfish person, a person that is selfish because they took an angel. That boy didn't bother nobody. He didn't bother nobody. He, he didn't stand no mess. He, he, he kept a big smile. Every time you see him, he got this big old pretty Kool-Aid smile on his face. And I'd be like, boy, you know, you got a beautiful smile. You know, he, he didn't bother nobody. He'll give you his last, the shirt off his back. Investigators are asking for the public's help in solving this murder. As always, if you want to submit a tip anonymously, you can call 850-433-STOP. In Pensacola, Cody Long, WKRG News 5.